tired of adulting lifestyle expert Sonia Singh is joining us this morning with some childhood activities that are really going to take us back to just having fun. <laughs> That's right. I just love what you said. Tired of adulting. That's what I <laughs> feel like. I got to tell you, it's so nice to go back to your childhood and get that feeling of innocence and still be able to stimulate your brain as well as be creative in that. So when's the last time you color? Actually, I do color. I oh, still no. color now. Yeah. And, and I love it because it's so relaxing. It is. And you know what? Coloring has actually made a huge comeback in the last few years. Coloring books in general with adults are great gifts, but they're also great personal gifts, too. I love the idea of being able to take 30 minutes out of my schedule and color. I got to tell you, I still can't color in the lines like I was a kid. Um, it's a lot harder than you think it is. Um, <laughs> no, I, I have the same problem because my mom, I said something to my mom and my mom's like, you didn't do this because it looks like all the lines were colored in. <laughs> It's okay. I know, right? And it's so funny because one of your producers will actually tell you his mom used to teach me when I was in public school, and she would always say, Sonia, it's color in between the lines. I could just never get it, and it's never happened still to this date, well into my 40s. But I got to tell you, it was still relaxing being able to pick the colors. And look, here's my uh, end project, but I'll just flip out really quickly. Nice. Everything. And the great thing is that you can post it after and look at it. So I love the idea of doing this. Puzzles are making a big comeback as well. And my husband and I have been doing puzzles nonstop since the uh, restrictions began. Yeah, you know, what I loved about doing the puzzle was it was me time, it was quiet time. And puzzles have really changed. I mean, either my eyesight is going or the pieces are just getting smaller. But I got to tell you, I spent a lot of time putting this puzzle together. And I probably made it through the weekend with half of the puzzle put together. But it gave me the ability to actually stimulate my brain cells in a very different way and also just quiet my brain down from day's activities. It, it kind of makes you think, of, uh, uh, take a, a different look at problems, right? It does, you know, and I think it's taking a look at problems within yourself and not always having to go to other people for answers, your friends and your family, but really just taking the stimulation from the colors as well. Mm -hmm. An important thing that we used to do as kids, too, is ask for help, and we, we feel that we can't do that anymore. Yeah, you know, it's like the whole idea of raising your hand. You can still do that as an adult. And I love the idea of being able to speak to somebody who is certified, a mental health counselor. I've had a lot of trouble sleeping during COVID. It was really easy for me to log on to um, Babylon by TELUS Health and speak to a locally licensed physician and get some sleeping pills. And that really has helped me out. But if you don't want to go down that prescription route, you can also use the app, which is called Calm. And it actually helps you with bedtime stories that are aimed for adults, which I really love too. So it gives you the idea of being able to listen to celebrities like Matthew McConaughey, Scotty Pippen, Harry Styles, who I just discovered right before you go to sleep. Okay, awesome. I know you've got lots of more ideas. So we're going to connect you on chch.com to your social pages because you've got great ideas on volunteering as well and bedtime stories. So we'll, we'll uh, link up to you that way. Thanks, Annette. Thank you, Sonia. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs>